Hello, sub y'all. It's Poppin' was cracking. It's D Boss here. This album and preach of it is titled Young Philly is Finished. Fresh and Fit, Chunks, Brands, and many more respond. Ooh, I want to hear what Chunks has to say about all of this. Chunks was his right hand man. So definitely want to hear what his thoughts are. Fresh and Fit, why are they even getting involved? <laughs> Do they even know him? I don't know, child, but let's see what everybody has to say. Let's watch. May, Drake. Is that what? June. Dr. Disrespect. Oh, That's funny. Going over the month. July, Chris. Yeah, every month from somebody. Beast. August, Mr. Beast. September, Diddy. October, Young Philly. Who's going to be up in November? Who's going to be the Christmas special? Not the Christmas special. Stop it. Chat Williams. You, oh. you said that. You know what this makes me think of? This makes me think of those advent calendars. But instead of chopping, you just get a seven <laughs> great message. Ain't that shit crazy? You know what Christmas before Christmas? You open yeah. up? Update on the Young Philly situation. So, uh, since the initial video we did, there's been some updates and I figured I would cover some of them. Yes, my peoples, like everyone, I've had to report coming out of Australia. Um, whilst I understand many of you want my reaction on it, um, as this is an ongoing court case, I hope you guys can understand that I can't and won't be commenting on it publicly. Mm -hmm. um, so, yeah, I've just come on it to basically let you know the reasons as to why I can't. Love. What? Did you let me marry into your family? 110 percent you specifically you are a great flipping human being on my life bro yeah i let you know. i've always thought they had a very special bromance i've always admired it i'm sure that's another reason why he doesn't want to speak on it but it's, it's a nice excuse <laughs> i mean it is a reason as well obviously that's the smart thing to do is to not speak on it but it is a great excuse because i'm sure even if that wasn't the case he still wouldn't want to say anything about him because even when people are terrible when they are close friends and family you still have a soft spot for them you know and and a lot of the time you don't want to bash them and say anything negative but if you try to say anything that even sounds positive to any degree or kind of sounds like you're on their side people are gonna crucify you for it so it's a lose-lose situation so it is best that he doesn't say anything to be honest yeah i would, I would let you marry my family but... why uh, I'm good. Well, he said I wouldn't <laughs> let you marry my What's wrong with me? No, I have too many stories. And then again, what stories? Huh? So, you guys remember what I said I when I stories. said that for Philly, it is over. It's over whether he's found guilty or not. And people are like, oh, you guys are condemning him. I'm not condemning him to anything. I'm just saying, based off of his brand and the yeah, work the that he's done, the mere accusation is enough to ruin yeah. everything he's built up up until now. Whether Especially in the environment like the media of the UK. You have to understand, this guy was tied to some very big brands. He was doing things with Heinz, he had his own like mustard line or some oh, shit. Yeah, I didn't know he was that. doing things with ASOS, he was doing things with BBC, he was doing pause, with all kinds of things. Yeah, they don't okay? want to associate in the context of a great case. <laughs> I said something about this, man. Yeah, I, he was doing a lot of things with his BBC. He was doing things with the BBC you should be but anyways okay <laughs> so let me take a look at some of that stuff stop it oh. Super possible. What? Now, honestly, this must have been the most expensive weekend of his entire life. Because just as we spoke about in the last video, creators and brands have started distancing themselves from Mr. Philly. Now, the first one that I saw was the Sidemen obviously removed their 20 versus 1 edition. That actually happened as I was oh. recording the last video, which, I mean, had 42 million views. So that would have been a painful one to remove. The FA canceled a new show that was going to have Philly uh, cooking alongside other big Premier League players like Sun. The FA is the most wealthy league in the world so losing that brand okay. that, 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 that's like losing Nike. That. i don't watch football and i know that yeah okay. his brand deals with asos have all been deleted his source that he had with heinz that's been pulled his clothing line with perplex has been taken down oh. foot asylum announced that they are suspending their contract with young philly uh, with immediate effect his dating show with jim shaw called hit off has now been unlisted his first live show for the chunks and philly podcast has now been cancelled and the producers oh, of yeah, that show yeah. upload productions well, they said that they are well, pausing they all and any work with young or see, I don't bail. I don't know. Everything. Yeah, he fucked what, up. That's what I meant when I said it's all dead. And, and if he's found not guilty, well, it's not coming no, back. Not coming back. Yeah. That, that's what I'm trying to make y'all understand on this. Now, you guys can argue for whether or not it's fair. And there's an argument to make that before you've been found guilty in court, is it right that you lose everything? And I probably would argue not. But the way brands function... Didn't they say that there are photos of, like, uh, bruises and stuff on her? Like, whatever. Especially in that environment, they don't have the luxury to wait or to find out or to hope 
because their brand is going to be negatively impacted by public perception. They work with the same thing that uh, insurance companies work. Okay. Your liability. Uh, if you're a liability, the ability to the brand, it's it's going to be done. Yeah, right. Even after, you're still liable. There's that in, you got that in your aura. Yeah. But there is an unexpected guest involved in all this that has a take on this and that thinks he's guilty. Fresh and fit. Go on. Fresh and fit. Yeah. <laughs> the boy Fresh just came out the woodwork. Oh, he had gosh, a hot take on Philly saying, I know him. The only great is they oh, support is Andrew King, him? apparently. You want to hear what Fresh and Fit have to say? Go ahead. Come on, man. You don't want to hear what them boys got to say? Again! Right. All right, let's listen, man. And, and guys, it's going to be choppy, but not because I'm going to edit it, but it's because Fresh is talking. Be patient. All right, I will try. I, I, I'm going to try to explain. All right. That being said, as the guy behind the scenes, you're And then, like, a lot of those, like, other, like, big YouTubers, why haven't any of them come out to defend them? That's my question. Something later? Did he? Who's defending Diddy? Nobody. But why is that though? Could it be true? <laughs> <laughs> the way he talks to me. Could it be true? Why is that? Is it something about Diddy? Could it be because oh. he's guilty? I don't know. What's he talking about? Release that. There's something that can be said. All right, let's go. I'm going to just skip ahead. So basically, because you guys don't want to hear Fresh Talk for five minutes, trust me. Uh, Fresh talks about the story that he was in London maybe just a year or two ago, and at this time where he's out with some girls, Philly ended up showing up, and then he saw some weird behaviors. I'm going to just get to the rich part, okay? Were there other YouTubers there? Yes. Yeah. Who, was, who else was there? Bro, you just... You can tell the story! Yo, yo, bro. Is this better? <laughs> just think of bro. They See, do not wrong. They're just with you. They, they don't want to be involved, bro. All right, all right. All right, all right. This is still Fresh, the worst storyteller, bro. No, it's because I'm protecting their... Brand, bro. Like, okay, they, all right, you just said earlier they didn't want to be seen with us. So why are you telling the people who, who they are? You want? Just think bro. I don't know if they were scared, worried about. Yes, they were worried about. Oh, so, so they're normally people I'm too. I'm gonna say their names. Okay, all right. Anyhow, so we go up with some YouTubers, man. They show us love. My models too. It's like when you watch mom and dad fight. <laughs> and there's like ten people at the dinner table and everyone's quiet. Oh, okay, dad. Peter. Now pass me the potatoes. The potatoes. <laughs> Because you know she's just fucking seeding, so the words don't come out right, but you're not gonna call it out. No, 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 no. You're just gonna pass her the potatoes. The potatoes. We're there having a great time. The club is closing in like 30 minutes or so. Out of the blue, guy pops up. I'm like, who's this nigga? Talking to the girls, touchy feely. I'm just like, did something about this nigga? I'm like, I don't know who he is. Mind you, he didn't know most girls there, he just knew one of them that I was talking to, which is fine. And um, we're chilling, vibe, whatever. Well, what's wrong? It is the worst storyteller I'm not going to give it to. I just think that if you give, give it some time, it's like watching something fast forwarded, but it's also buffering at the same time. Yes. Yeah, 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 yeah. It's like, so, so the girl coming to the club, and uh, the way, but um, Philly is coming through, and I'm talking to one of the girls, and uh, remember, I said, the club closed in like 30 minutes. He comes at a friend at, night, at a club. And he's there at the table. I'm like, who's this guy? Whatever. So then he's talking to most girls, girls at the table. And the one, the one I'm talking to, he takes particular interest into. So he's like talking to her. The nigga's like thirsty, bro. Like, when I say like over thirsty, he's like grabbing her, trying to pull her to the car, take her away from her friend. This is like, bro, do your thing. I'm not going to stop you because, hey, that's that's not your brother. The nigga's pulling the girl to the car, like, like pulling her, legit pulling her. And I'm like, I'm going to go to the hotel. And her friends are like, yo, this is crazy. Like, what's happening? Someone go get her. She's like, where are you guys going? Like, why is he pulling me this way? So I leave. I go to my hotel. I get a text saying, yo, listen, I'm talking off to you right now, which is the YouTuber girl that told me she's coming. Okay, so she grabbed her from him. Yeah. And then I asked her, so what happened? You didn't want to go home? Boy? Oh, no, this or that. He's being pushy, whatever. But I want to go home with you. I just don't want to, like, make a scene. I'm like, all right, cool, whatever. Kind of find out. Mm. I called the other YouTuber girl. Later on, she uh -huh. told me the full story of what happened. He wanted to smash, by any means possible. So I was like, oh shit, this is the thing of booze. She's like, yeah, everyone knows. Damn. He went fresh and fit, saying this dude weird. Everybody knows. But I'm taking it. That being said, 
No shade, because I don't know if he has like a speech impediment or something. I'm not trying to make fun of him, but it is really difficult to sit here and listen to him. Jeez. You know, they just, they just um. And people tune into their podcast all the time. Thirsty, and to not thirsty for girls, and <clears throat> that's what you do. But what about what he said? What about what he said? I mean, it just corroborates what I've heard a lot of people behind the scenes. And, and here's what I think. It's one thing if you have a cute... The story wasn't even that crazy, so I, I feel like he might be telling the truth. I don't think he's just pulling this out his ass just for engagement and, like, clicks. Like, you guys know, when Fresh and Fit got accused by that girl, that. and I went to go listen, I'm like, that story's bogus. So the people are like, oh, you just going to believe the story? It's not that I believe the story. I'm not even telling you guys what happened or what didn't happen. But all the circumstantial evidence for me points to I would be very wary of him behind closed doors. That's it. And you might say that's a lot, but when I hear the prosecutor in court saying, we have CCTV evidence, we have footage, we have photos of her injuries mm, to her body hello. that depict a history of violence on her. When he's using, saying, we have an incredibly strong case, I'm like, okay, that's a fact. Who have nothing to gain, who mm. privately, before any of this happened, and after, tell me, he moves a little and bit. And it made it seem like it was multiple things. women that Hey guys, it's my Isaac. I'm going to give my honest opinion about this whole Young Philly situation. Oh, okay. As you guys may know or may not know, he got charged with uh, R, and it's been, like, all over the news. Um, I'm going to give my honest, humble opinion, okay? I've met the guy. Um, I personally don't like him. He's, mm-hmm. he's not a nice person. I'm, I'm just going to be honest. To me, anyway, I don't know. To his friends, he might be a nice person, but to, like... If you've met him in real life, you, you'll know he, he acts in a certain way, especially if he's around people. He, he has a very big ego, and mm, he kind of looks that. down on a lot of people. And people think all this stuff we're saying, even his friends say this. They get on podcasts, they talk about how rude and nasty he can be to people oh, all the time. So that's why I would post like, oh, these are just rumors. They're not rumors. Like, when your friends are saying it, when people who don't know you are saying it, when all these unrelated people are saying it, and not only are they saying this guy's arrogant, but they're saying he's aggressive with the ladies and he little shit. I'm sorry. It just, to me, that's probably the biggest smoking gun someone can give me but outside of like that footage that they're not and photo videos because. There's no way 15 to 20 people who are all unrelated to each other are all reporting the exact same details mm-hmm. about you. Well, yeah, this is where we're at with the updates. This is a story that's going to keep evolving. We're going to keep our eye on it. But from what I'm gathering, well, yeah. You're going to get updates from this. I mean, you know, of course, we're going to see where the court case goes. I'll, I'd be very curious to see when the photos get released or if they leak. Mm-hmm. That'd be really interesting because they're when they talk about a history of violence, that sounds super aggressive. But if it just turns out to be a few bruises, it's going to make me look at the prosecution completely differently. Have they just been lying in court? Have they been lying to the public in regards to what they actually saw? Um, but obviously, in the court's opinion, as well as the judge, not only were the allegations serious, but the proof that they needed to be able to hold him there on very strict bail where he couldn't leave, he couldn't talk about this court case publicly, he had to leave a deposit, he would not be able to leave the country. I'm sorry, I just left because uh, two years ago I bought a car and they asked me for a deposit and it was $500. That was not a deposit. That's $122,000. $122, <laughs> $122, That's not a deposit. That's, That's the whole car. <laughs> He left a car there. What the fuck? Yep. That's... <laughs> Look, the whole You're not leaving nowhere. No, you're not leaving nowhere. Yeah. You're staying here. Yeah. And uh, yeah, was that your passport? We'll take that. You can't travel. You can't leave. Dude. Yeah. Yikes. This is a lot. And the fact that more and more people are coming out and speaking about his character and speaking on things that they personally witnessed, that says a lot. And all these people can't be lying on him. You know? But I feel like this is going to encourage more people to speak about their encounters with him. Like, oh, wait, I did see him do this, this, and that. And, oh, maybe, you know, that was a sign when he grabbed this one girl or did this weird thing, you know, that we brushed off and didn't say anything about. But now we're going to talk about it, you know. So that encourages people like that to come out the woodwork. So, yeah, I feel like we'll get more stories like this. But this is wild. We'll see what happens. Y'all let me know what y'all think. Let me know what other videos you've been watching. I'll see y'all in the next one. Bye.